Hello everyone, this is Darsonova here. This has been a subject that I've been had in my mind for a long time now, and I've been want and I want to do it. I don't like doing videos unless I have a reason, unless I believe there's a reason for me to do this this set video. So without further ado, let's begin. As if some of you, as most of you are probably are not aware, I did a video about a year ago where when Disney basically decanonized the expanded universe. Yeah, that topic again. I'm pretty sure some of you fans are sick of hearing it, but you know what? This is my channel. So shut the hell up and just hear me out. One thing that's got me thinking, which by the way, as of this video, I'm reading, I'm currently on this book, Vision for the Future, done by Timothy Zahn. I'll give you my, my overall thoughts about that later. But anyway, back on subject. Is the expand the EU haters? You know, those ones who are dick riding Disney, who are basically defending everything Disney did, even defending the, their decision to uncanonize the expanded universe. Yeah, which is funny as most of these are ignorant trolls, most of them, who actually do not understand the Star Wars of canon. At least the deeper layered canon that the expanded universe established. Maybe the, a lot of the misconceptions about the expanded universe, there was, there was so many contradictions, which there aren't. I, I can vouch for that because I, I bought the Reader's Compa Companion, which tells you everything. Um, the, the, the interviews of George Lucas amongst many other those people did not say it wasn't canon. It was canon, not not G canon, but it was C canon. Or you have someone to say like, "Oh, the EU is garbage." Oh, or some of those who read who read a few of the books. Oh, the thing about the Vong, that's stupid. You know what? Some of those some of those hypocrites that hate on a lot of the stuff in Star Wars. Guess what? It came from. It started with the critically acclaimed Thrawn trilogy. You know. Which, you know, the idea for the Fong came from that. The idea for the clones came from the Thrawn trilogy. Um, the planet Coruscant, and correct me if I'm wrong, was introduced in the, in the Thrawn trilogy. Emblems that were incorporated in the prequel trilogy. The Thrawn trilogy was a, is a great book. Do not get me wrong. But most of those who hate on the Expanded Universe, who only, only read that, and, not, and that's about it. Maybe a few others. I'm not saying that every Expanded Universe book is good, because there isn't. I've read three books that were awful. But, but then again, if you go to Marvel and DC, there's a lot of bad books. More bad than good, in my opinion. There's no camp continuity. It's full of contradictions. If you, if you EU haters want to bitch about contradictions, look no further than Marvel and DC. Most of the comic books aren't even in continuity with each other. There's holes all over the place. So don't tell me that the e, the expanded universe is full of contradictions. It isn't. For a franchise that's lasted for 37 years without a reboot, mind you, there's very little contradictions. Very little. And I know some of those that were contradictions, a lot of them were minor, honestly. And a lot of them was caused by the prequel trilogy, but most of those contradictions, you, that's another thing I want to bring up. Most of those contradictions, you, you prequel haters, you, got, you belong to the same group, want to bring up with the prequels, those contradictions were fixed long before Disney bought Star Wars. You see, unlike most franchises, Star Wars, before, Di before Disney got their fucking greasy hands on them, valued continuity very rarely did you have a contradiction very rarely unlike most franchises which are full of them look no further than fucking than Marvel or DC or many other look at a lot of the anime a lot of these shouldn't jump mangas out there yes the expanded universe ran for 37 years has less contradictions than Dragon Ball that is how amazing this universe was. 
Star Wars was unique. Unlike the other franchises out there, I like Transformers, Ninja Turtles, He-Man, you know, various Marvel and DC, you know, franchises. It never got rebooted until Disney got it. And if it, Disney had not bought in Star Wars, it would have still been going. It would have still been unique. But because Disney, being greedy ass fucks, you know, went towards the casuals. No offense, you can't. You're not a hardcore fan. You never read. You barely. You barely read these books or any of them at all. You're far from being a, a hardcore fan. You maybe you don't only care about the movies. You know what? That's fine. That is completely fine. For Star Trek, I only care about the TV show that and the movies. That's it. I don't care about the books. There's various other series. I don't care about their expanded universe. Transformers Prime is, is a series. That, that's a big universe. Do I care about its expanded universe? Of course not. It's, it's full of contradictions. Transformers G1. The only thing I fucking care about in, in, in the G1 continuity is Beast Wars and Beast Machines. As you see, there's nothing wrong with being a casual fan. But if you're going to act like you know what you're talking about, shut the hell up. And not, one thing I want to ask you, for you people who are against, who, who, under, who are against us, does it really affect you if the EU gets continued? Does it affect episode seven, eight, or nine, or those spinoff movies that your guys are going to watch? No. No matter what outcome for us, you win. You get your movies. Us, we get nothing. We don't get our stories continued. Honestly, in this deal, we got nothing. We got the short end of stick. We didn't get Jack. Disney could have appealed to both crowds and they could have gone far into the future like Matt Wilkin said in one of his videos. If you want, I'll give you a link to his channel. And they could have gotten the original actors but playing their descendants. It would have been more proper than having them star in the actual movie. Come on, let's be honest here. You honestly think Harrison Ford, Mark, Mark Camel, and all those other people, they're going to be the main stars? I highly doubt that. And, and if that is true, then, that's going to, then what about the new characters that are introduced in the sequel trilogy? So you're going to put them on the back burner for these new characters? I highly doubt Disney will do that. They may do it for the first film, but Episode 7 is going to be one film that's, it, that a lot of fans are going to be split on, new and old alike. Those who grew up with the original trilogy, they're going to, they're going to be comparing, you know... They're, they're, they're going to compare how the actors were in The Force Awakens to, to the first three movies. They're going to do that. Don't be surprised. And a lot of them may not be satisfied with what they see. Honestly, those of us who've read the old material, we already have our sequel. That's why we don't care about Episode 7. That's why I don't care about Episode 7. Episode 7, to me, the real Episode 7, is Heir to Empire. That's the real episode seven. I don't care about the Forced Awakens. Honestly, what what matter what happens in that canon, I don't care about. But one thing I wish you guys would do is shut the hell up about the expanded universe. You know nothing about it. You don't know what you're talking about. You you haven't invested yourself into these. Me, there may be more of you, there may be of us, but we actually put more money into this franchise than you have. I bought 55 of these fucking books. My collection this year was nine books. My collection quadrupled in the four months. You guys don't have that kind of dedication to the, to the franchise like I do. So don't don't call yourself a hardcore fan. I'm the har I'm more hardcore than you are because I've actually invested my money into into these books. I actually read I'm reading these some of these books. I didn't just stop at Heir to Empire, uh, you know, or The Last Command. I didn't stop with those books. I went further. I read the Jedi Academy trilogy and onward. I've read those. I read a lot more EU book material than most of you who are watching this video. It's okay to be excited about Episode Seven. It really is, but do not talk smack about 
a continuity you know nothing about. Some of you may, may say, well, what about you, Dor Sinovio? You, don't, you probably haven't read a comic. You know what? To some extent, you're right. But here's a reason for that. Mostly, I value continuity. And when I look at Marvel and DC, it's no secret that they get rebooted every few years. So what is the point of me investing myself into these characters if they're just going to restart their story again? I'm not, I can't do that. I can't read Marvel. I, I, I need one singular continuity that is in one canon. Which is why I don't read comics. If anything, I read manga. I read One Piece. I read Dragon Ball. I read Naruto. I read Roy Kinshin, amongst many other manga that's come out. Because it's one singular universe. And it's, what's even amazing is Star Wars has a huge universe with a bunch of different authors, and yet there's barely anything contradicts um, the freaking universe before Disney got it. Look, if you look at a series like Dragon Ball, look how many fucking contradictions there is in that franchise. So damn many contradictions. Before the end of, of the fucking Boo Saga, and after the freaking Boo Saga, so many goddamn contradictions. It's hard to believe the cell arc takes place in the same universe as the as the fir, as the, the as the first arc of Dragon Ball to the end of Frieza. But I know I'm talking about Dragon Ball. It has nothing to do with Star Wars, but I'm talking about the continuity and the importance of it. Why are fans like myself so, you know, pissed? Why we were pissed about this and how it's an unfortunate compromise. But if we can get these books continued. Under the Legends banner, we get our fucking story continue. And you know, for you haters who hate on the Expanded Universe, you get your Star Wars continue. You get your Episode 7, 8, and 9, and 10. You get those movies. Because you know what? I have, I'm, want nothing to do with those films. I know I won't enjoy Episode 7 because it's not in the same universe as, as, as freaking, you know, this. I refuse to accept that Jason Solo, Anakin Solo, Jaina, amongst many others, don't exist. I refuse to accept that. And J.J. Ivams is a, is a hack. He's already ruined Star Trek. Star Wars is going to suck. I'm calling it. Episode 7 will be the highest grossing movie of the year, but it's going to be the freaking... The other movies are nowhere going to be nowhere near as good as that. And Disney's talking about doing an interactive universe of Star Wars, doing a Marvel. I can't see this working with Star Wars. Star, What works in a book, in a comic book, just doesn't work in as a movie. I mean, Mar the interactive Marvel universe, I got sick of it. I got bored with it. I really did. There's, you know, those movies, the majority of those movies are forgettable. Yes, there's a lot of forgettable expanded universe Star Wars books, but... But there was a lot. There's still a lot of good material. I mean, what were you could pop like two or three movies, Star Wars movies a year, which I pretty sure will get to that point if it, if they do the Marvel route, and Star Wars will be like any other franchise. It'll be like the Marvel at that point. And that's when I saw that when I saw Star Wars Episode Seven. That didn't speak Star Wars to me. It didn't, it, it didn't feel like Star Wars. Call me crazy. It did not feel like Star Wars. It just looked like some freaking... Like any other fucking movie that, that's coming out. It looks like fucking... Something looked like more like the Avengers or, or, or anything I've seen from Marvel than fucking Star Wars. And don't get me started on the fucking... Vi on the villain, honestly. All the villain is, they just ripped off Darth Revan from Knights of the Old Republic... And just used, you know, used his, you know, helmet design for the character. And the lightsaber is an EU, is an EU design too. It's like nothing in that, in that trailer looks original. Creative freedom, my ass. I know I'm, I'm nitpicking at this point, but you know, freaking people. The EU is criticized for various different things, like the technology not advancing much. Well, what I've seen from Episode Seven. Why the hell is, are they using TIE Fighters and X-Wings in this when it's 30-something years into the future? They should have more advanced technology at that point.
All I'm saying is, I repeated myself, all Disney has to do to make me happy, continue this under Legends. Continue the Expanded Universe under Legends. I don't want your shitty books that have nothing to do with my canon. I don't care about your Tarkin because that's nothing to do with with, with with Legends. I don't want your fucking Dark Disciple, all the other crap. You can keep your Clone Wars. Oh, as for, for as for as for Clone Wars, that's a topic for another time, because I have a lot to say about that series and Rebels. But that's a, that's a video for another time, right? That's just too much for me to cover. Anyway, I don't know what to call this video. I admit, but I feel like I made my point. EU haters. For those who don't care for the expanded universe, whatever it is, don't please don't bitch about the expanded universe or or hate on something you don't understand because you guys never read the book, read the material, and you guys, but most of you never read this. Those of you who hate on the expanded universe who own, who original trilogy purists, you're not gonna read the old stuff. You're not gonna read the stuff that the new stuff Marvel and puts out either. So shut up the. Ex the old, you're not, you never read the old expanded universe. You're not going to read the new one either. So be quiet. Just shut up. Watch episode seven and enjoy it because, unlike you, maybe I shouldn't say that, but unlike you, I I actually respect you guys your guys' opinion. But don't be but don't be surprised if those people like myself don't want any, don't want any part of Disney Star Wars. They can keep their unoriginal ideas with expanded universe characters that are just re slightly rehamped versions of previous characters in the old expanded universe. They can keep that. They can keep. They can keep their freaking their fucking books that ruin the fucking the, the continuity of Star Wars. They can keep their their book that basically kills the ending for Return of the Jedi. They can keep that because for me. There is no Star Wars movie after Return of the Jedi. The only thing that comes after Jedi is the Thrawn books, amongst many others. This is Dar Synovia, over and out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.